A quick video on how to install Cloudy G2 version 3.3. The first thing you're going to need is you are going to need root and a recovery which is called auto recovery. You're going to need super SU and you're going to install the app called quick boots so you can boot into recovery much faster. So the first thing you got to do is go to the link in the description. It will take you to my website. It's going to take you to this website right here and you're going to scroll down and you're going to need to install the files. I am not responsible for your device getting bricked if following the in instructions incorrectly. You are at your own risk and agree to this statement. If you do mess up, I will have a link on how to unbrick and restore back to stack ROM. So, you're going to you're going to need to install the KitKat bootloader. You have to have the KitKat bootloader in, in order for this to work. So, on step 2, I have all the links to the to the bootloaders. The next thing you got to do is go to step two well actually here are all the models listed so we'll go go in your settings or be in the back of your phone and you'll find the model of your phone I am on the D800 which is the AT&T model and I know the VS980 is the Sprint and the LS sorry the LS980 is Sprint VS is Verizon so the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the one you have for D800 for twerp you're gonna have to update it because it is a little outdated on the auto recovery stock so you're gonna need to just update it and then last and final you're gonna need the cloudy G2 ROM which is version 3.3 um, shout out to cloudy FA or cloudy fa okay so let's get started on this once you have those downloaded I already have them downloaded they're in my downloads I'm gonna go to quick boots and as you can see right here, Quick Boots is going to re reboot, recovery, bootloader, power off. I'm going to click on recovery. And I'm going to grant it permission with SuperSU. Okay, I'm going to let that load. Okay, team win recovery. So, the first thing you got to do is you want to go you want to go to your you want to go to wipe you want to click advanced wipe and then from here you want you want to check dalvik cache system data do not check internal and check cache so those are the ones you're going to need next you're going to want to click on swipe to wipe you going to let that load Okay, successful. You're gonna go back. You're gonna go back, back, and okay. And then on this screen, you're gonna go back to install. You're gonna scroll down to your downloads, and you're gonna install cl uh, the twerp, the one you downloaded. So I have this one. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. Okay, it's gonna install that, and there you go, successful. You're gonna go back home. You're gonna click on install. You're gonna install your KitKat bootloader, as you can see right there. KitKat bootloader KK D800 KK, which is my model. So make sure you do install the right model, or your device will get bricked. Just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna install. I'm gonna install that. I'm gonna swipe to confirm. Okay, successful. I'm gonna go home. I'm going to go to reboot and I'm going to click on reboot recovery since we just updated the twerp. So, reboot recovery. I'm going to hit do not install since I already have it. Just hit don't do not install. You're going to let that load. There's the LG logo. There's team win. Okay, now you're gonna want to install the ROM, the Cloudy G2 version 3.3 ROM. You're gonna to go to install. You're gonna to go to Cloudy G2 3.3, and you're gonna to swipe to confirm flash. And then Cloudy G2 version 3.3 has its own its own welcome screen. So you're gonna click once you're on here. You're gonna to want to click on next. 
Okay, once you're on this screen, you're going to click continue to install ROM on the top. And then from here, you're going to select your variant. So I have the D800 variant. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. I'm going to hit next. I do not want the Smart World, but you can choose if you want. It's the LG apps. I do want Chrome, Drive, Hangouts, Docs. I do want Adblock. And if you have an international model, go ahead and click on Global APNs. And you can also install Remove Quick Cover feature, which I don't know why you would want that, but Expose Support is there for you. You don't want to hit Next. The wizard is ready to begin the installation. Press Install Now to begin the installation. Okay, you're going to hit Install Now. And there it is. It's deleting your old system and it's installing a new system. So as you can see, it's already at 10%. So it looks like a fast installation. I'm actually going to leave this loading so you can see how fast it is to actually install. Anyways, the, G, the G2 ROM, which is version 3.3, gives you the features of the LG G4. Um, it gives you actually voice recording when, you call, when you're calling. It gives you a whole bunch of features. Um, you can go on the website and they're listed below. So if you want to read the full features, it, it, they are posted. So we're already at 60%. So it's setting the permissions. BusyBox and Root is being installed, so you will keep Root. It is removing Smart Notice, removing Smart World Notice because I did not want that. It extracted the D800 patch and it's finalizing and it's finished. Okay. Once you're on that, you're going to click Next. You're going to click Reboot Your Device Now. You're going to hit Finish. You're going to let that load. And if you did not install the correct bootloader of the KitKat, your device would get bricked. But since we double checked, we looked behind the phone and in the settings, we got everything correct. Everything is running smooth. As you can see, the LED back there is changing colors. So I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this load the new system. Cloudy G3. Sorry, it would be Cloudy G2 version 3.3. So give that a few minutes to load. If you want to go ahead and fast forward, um, this is real timing. So as long as it takes on me, it might take on you because I have no system ROM when I installed it. So it is a clean phone. Okay, if I can focus that. Anyways, it says Android is upgrading, optimizing eight apps of 123. So, can't really get this to focus. There it is, optimizing apps 123. So, I am gonna pause the video. Um, I'm gonna let this go through just so the recording time can be short. Okay, once that finishes installing, you're going to get an LG welcome screen. You're going to choose your language. I am English. You're going to click on next. And then it's going to take you directly to your internet connection. So I'm going to skip that for now, but if you check on the Wi-Fi, you can search for your Wi-Fi. I'm going to click next. Okay, it's going to say tap and go. If you want to transfer from your old device, you can learn more about that. I'm going to skip. Okay, it's going to check in my info. Ask me if I have a Gmail account. I do, but I am going to skip. You are going to need want to skip. You are going to need a, your Google account to download your apps, games, and whatnot, but I'm going to skip that for the video purpose. Skip. It's going to enter my I'm going to enter my name. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that.
Okay, once you enter that, it's going to ask you for your Google services. Use Google Location Service, help improve. I do not want to help it. I do not want to help him improve your Android experience. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to hit next. And it's going to set up a knock knock code. So I'm actually am going to set this up. So you can actually make your own. So I'm going to just tap like this. Continue. Confirm. And it says if the knock knock code is forgotten, you can enter a uh, pin. So I'm going to set one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can set your own, whatever you want. I'm going to show you lock screen notifications, hide sens sensitive only, hide all. I want to choose show all. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's asking me which one I want. I want my back screen to be on the left side. And I want my home button to be in the middle and my recent apps on the right. So I'm going to choose the first one. You can also choose a black one. It's up to you. I'm going to choose the white one for now. If I don't like it, I change it. Hit done. Okay, there you have it. And obviously, you can see everything that's changed. The APNs are automatically applied. And there you have it. That's how you install Cloudy G2 version 3.3. I will have a review video on more about this. So keep keep a watch for that. I'm going to go to general, about phone. And this is running Android 5.0.0. Two, as you can see on the top. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.